We were scrubbing up for the last 20 minutes, but I have no idea where you were before that. I'll tell you where she was. She snuck down to daycare, took Emma's toy, and left it boiling in the lab. Do you have any witnesses? Of course not, because you made sure no one saw you. Okay, Robin, the only ones who have access to your daughter's toys are you and Patrick. I'm sorry, this is clearly a woman who is hysterical and because she was cheated on and she's desperately trying to get her husband's attention. You know what? You can spread your legs as much as you want, but stay okay. away from my all child. All right, all right. Okay, That's you know, everyone calm down. To be get back to work. With Robin. She's you took our unbalanced. daughter from our house. You threw yourself in front of my car. And God, I wish I had broken every okay, single Robin, bone in your body. Okay, I, I think I could use some help I'm here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Are you kidding me? You're going to take Lisa's it's side? It's not a matter of taking sides. Chief, she's been threatening our family. She kidnapped our daughter. I told you, I didn't do any of that. Shut up! Shut up! Shut Just up. knock it off. I'm gonna have to suspend you, pending further investigation. That is a horrible thing to say. Robin would never take her own child's toy and boil it I'm like not, a I'm, crazy I'm, I'm person. I'm not saying that Robin is guilty, okay? I've known her most of my whole life, and, and she would never do something like this. But Lisa Niles is carefully gaslighting Robin. Then go arrest her. Maxie, there's a difference between what I think and what I can prove. Hey, what the hell's going on? Where's Robin? She's probably uh, out front with Patrick. I just wanted you to get here as soon as you could. Uh is a crazy person. She took Emma's toy and boiled it for Robin to find. Oh, my God. Where's Lisa now? She's upstairs. Robin confronted her. It wasn't pretty. I and mean, she actually assaulted her, Mac. And Lisa denied everything. All right, all right. Look, I want a full forensic sweep of this lab. OK, Lisa probably wore gloves, but we might find a strand of her hair or DNA or some other piece of evidence. Yeah, well, if we do that, she can make the argument that she'd been here before on work-related matters. But we need to think of something fast. We need to figure out what's going on because Robin's unraveling. There you go. It's nice to you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I better get going. I told Molly I'd bake cookies with her. So. But we'll talk later? Yeah, sure thing. Okay. Bye. Bye. So I'm guessing. Chrissy filled you in? No. I asked her why you seem so withdrawn, and she told me that a friend of hers tried to pull you into the water. It's okay if you don't feel comfortable talking to me about it. You know? I'm just not the normal teenager who can have water fights at a country club. Any more than I can go back to Madison and apply for Ivy League school. Okay, listen, you can come straight home after school and we'll find after school activities for I you. can't stand the kids there. Okay, I, I didn't go to a fancy high school either, but I can I can put you in PCI. Mom, I, I don't want to go back to high school. You have to have a high school diploma, Michael. You have to graduate. Mom, don't you get it? I killed somebody. I spent time in prison. There's no way I can never go back to the person that I was. Chair of the corner store on Baker and Second, bring up anybody who might have charged something in the 20 minutes before the shootout. You know, such an endeavor would require the jackal to hack into private mainframes, and that would be a detestable, loathsome violation of the law. Yes, it would, but I can't do it. And what you do while I'm on the phone talking to my girlfriend, I don't know about. Capiche? Jackal Capiches. Why are you so eager to help? If Sonny's innocent, I want to find out the truth. How do I know you're not going to bust us? You don't. But I had to trust you, so maybe you can try trusting me this time. I want the truth for Michael's sake. Why are we outside my hotel? I, uh, I want to see you. Why didn't you call me? I, I tried, but you... Line was busy. When did you try calling me? Today? No. It's a couple of weeks ago. Oh, I know. A couple of weeks ago, you tried yeah. calling me once. I didn't answer. And then what? You decided you should jump on a plane to Rome. To this just... is a little more complicated. Of course, everything's complicated. But, with you. but that's why we made such a good fit because you, you oh. like complicated. I do. You, you know. It, no, it's I, I used to. I used to. I'll tell you the truth. 
Robin told me she saw you in Africa, and I started remembering old times. Like, you know, when I first met you on the docks, and I grabbed your suitcase, and I introduced myself. That's pretty much that. You should have kept walking that day. Well, you could have kept walking, but I would have found you eventually, because uh, you, you had me hooked, and you knew it. Do you remember? I don't know. You know, like, uh, when we tried living together and you used to get up in the morning and do super, you know, uh, <laughs> sit ups. <laughs> sit ups. <laughs> right? Yes. And then you said you wanted to build a, uh, you know, a fantasy home made out of all wood and glass and. I can't believe our, you remember that. Our last unmarried date. Mm -hmm. You wore that red dress and, uh, you had the flower in your hair. The way you drive me crazy, break my heart, and make me the happiest man alive. <laughs> I used to love, you know, the way you kind of, the way you would look at me, and you'd smile. But then, you know, I said to myself, that was, uh, you know, a long time ago, those were just yeah. memories, and you go, you went your way, I went my way. So I needed to come to Rome to just know what it would feel like to see you again. <laughs>